Looking to extract a large amount of data from a website? When copy and paste doesn't cut it, web scraping can be the solution. However, as a Mac user, you might be running to web scraping solutions that are exclusive to Windows or Linux. We are Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper for Mac. It's quite feature rich and can scrape data from any website. Best of all, you can use Parsub for free to get scraping right away. No need to bust out your credit card. Using a new web scraper might seem intimidating. After all, you'll need to learn how to use a new tool from scratch. Fortunately, we put together multiple guides and videos to get you scraping right away. To show you how easy it is to scrape data on a Mac, we'll show you an example. We're going to scrape a data library website like datadescription.com. They have a library of data sets you can use for your research and development. It's a useful website data scientists can use to collect data they need for their project. You'll also be able to extract the download link for the TXT file of the data. If you want to follow along, the download link is in the description. So let's get started. Install and open Parsub, click on New Project, and enter the URL you will be scraping. In this case, we are scraping the datasets that have statistical method of correlation. This page will now render inside of the app. A select command will automatically be created. Make your first selection by clicking the first headline on the list. Once selected, it will turn green. Parsub will now suggest the other elements you want to extract in yellow, like the other headlines. Now click on the data headline that is in yellow. Parsub is now extracting all the headlines on the list. Parsub is now extracting the data headline and the information page link for each data set on the page. Let's name our new selection to heading. Let's extract more data. Start by clicking the plus sign next to your heading selection and click on the relative select command. Now click on the first headline that is highlighted in orange on the page and then on the methods. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to methods. Repeat the previous two steps to select and extract more data from the page. We'll repeat these steps and extract the source, the number of cases, description, and the download link. Be sure to rename your selections accordingly. Right now, Parsub is only extracting data sets on the first page, but let's grab from multiple pages. Let's show you how to add pagination. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the next button. Rename your selection to next page. Expand your page command and delete both commands that are being extracted. Now select the plus sign command next to your next page selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is a next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of additional pages you'd like to scrape. In this case, we'll scrape four more pages. Your project should look like this. Now you're ready to run your web scraping project. To do this, click on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you can test, run, or schedule your scrape. In this case, we'll run it right away. Parsub is now off to scrape the data you selected. Once Parsub is done extracting the data, you can download the file in CSV, Excel, or a JSON file. You now know how to scrape data from any website with your Mac device. However, you might be looking to scrape a website we haven't gone over yet or is giving you trouble while scraping. In any case, feel free to reach out to us via live chat on our site. We'll be happy to assist you with any of your web scraping projects. Thanks for watching this video. Check us out at parsop.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping.